Hey everyone, welcome to the Canine Culture Podcast, where we talk about everything dog. Q and A's with veterinarian professionals, rescue operators, everyday topics. We cover everything dog on this podcast. So make sure you subscribe to the Canine Culture Podcast on your favorite podcast platform, and make sure you're following us on social media on both Instagram and Facebook. Thanks again for listening. Now here's that next episode. Hey everyone, welcome to the Canine Culture Podcast. This is your host, Brittany. We are joined today by Dr. Tori. Dr. Tori is the founder of the dog Gua Sha, also known as the Paw Sha. So thank you for joining us, Dr. Tori. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. So I've been a small animal veterinarian for over 10 years. And in the past um, few years, probably past five years, I've really honed in on pain management. So I went through the Qi Institute for acupuncture. Um, I do laser therapy. And most recently, I discovered Gua Sha for myself and translated that and and made Pa Sha to help my uh, patients um, and now everyone at home to relieve pain and, and enhance mobility and uh, really just improve um, my clients, uh, dogs and, and cats overall quality of life. That's awesome. So I've been talking more and more about gua sha for people. It, it just keeps coming up in conversation. Oh, have you seen that on TikTok? People are using the stone on their face or people are just kind of bringing it up. Um, and so for the listeners who don't know what gua sha is or the modality behind it, can you explain that a little bit? Sure. It, so it's been around at least documented about 700 years. Um, orally, I think it's been around like 2,000 years for oral tradition in traditional Chinese medicine. So it, it's been around for a long time. And it's basically um, a smooth tool that it's been made from bone, horn, spoons, you know, a long time ago. And today, um, stones like jade or rose quartz or amethyst um, or even stainless steel are made into this flat tool to glide against the skin. And it really helps with your face. It helps with releasing the fascia, which is underneath and and the collagen and all of that uh, to reduce wrinkles. And it also helps with tension like jaw pain and all of that. On the body in humans, it really scrapes and um, gets the blood flowing essentially um, to help with tense muscles, circulation. Um, it's said to help relieve fever and all of that. So that's that's basically what gua sha is. And I've um, taken parts of that or a lot of it and, and made it amenable to our dogs. So that's that's where pa sha is. So how did you come up with this idea to start doing or using gua sha on dogs? I So I love doing acupuncture and laser therapy. Um, and I was seeing one-on-one clients, but I was seeing them for an hour a day. So there was only so much time that I could help uh, my patients and talk to my clients about what they can do at home. Um, And then the pandemic hit and a lot of uh, patients um, and clients weren't able to come see me or a lot of people were reaching out. They couldn't get an appointment with me. Um, And I was doing gua sha on myself, on my face and um, where I had some low back tension and it was really helping. So I started doing it on my own dogs. Then I started incorporating it into my sessions And then I started giving tools to my clients and saying, hey, here's what you can do at home specifically for your dog. Let's do it in between sessions. Um, A lot of clients that didn't want to come in, I would send them a tool and do a little video tutorial of how they could help their dogs at home. So it really was born out of a necessity where clients either couldn't get to me um, or they didn't have access, you know, clients that are outside of San Diego where I am, they didn't have access to acupuncture, laser therapy, physical therapy, or if they did, it was like a month or two wait time and they needed something right now. Um, mm-hmm. So it really was born out of a necessity to help patients more often than just coming into the vet um, and really enhance their um, progress and healing time. Yeah, that's great. We, so two of our dogs go to acupuncture. Uh, and so they do acupuncture and they do laser 
And I would love to go more than once a month, but there is certainly a time restraint, a budget restraint. Like you said, they, the clinic gets so booked up. We've got to book our appointments so far in advance. And so having a modality at home would be fantastic. And I just never thought of this idea. Um, And so let's kind of talk about some of the benefits specifically for dogs. So what are some of the benefits that you're seeing whenever people are regularly doing the the paw shaw? Right. So paw shaw, we're going to glide it against the skin. Um, and what that does is it helps smooth out the underlying connective tissue, which is called fascia. Fascia basically envelops everything in your body from um, nerves to blood vessels, lymph vessels, organs, muscles, bone, everything. And it's this network. It's like a spider web um, that basically helps with structure and and sensory um, uh, pain perception, all of that. So the biggest benefit is reducing pain and therefore improving mobility. And if they have stuck fascia or thickened fascia, that can help relieve some of that tension. And they can, like I said, they can move better. So in a sense, it's going to help pain, mobility, decrease inflammation, and therefore it's also going to help with circulation and lymph flow. Um, so those are just the, the main benefits of it. But I do think it, you know, it helps with all sorts of, of issues, but especially pain and, and movement and that circulation. Mm-hmm. And for anyone that sounds, you know, they're like, oh, this is intimidating or I don't want to mess this up. You and I know that it's actually not, you kind of can't mess it up, you know, unless you're applying so much pressure that you're doing damage, but you offer a course, uh, for people to learn how to use it. Correct. Yeah. So um, I offer uh, the Paw Shaw course and it shows people different strokes and different um, ways they can help each body part. So it goes through, you know, the neck, the forelimbs, the spine, the hind limbs. But I say to everybody, you, you can't mess this up. That's what's so wonderful about it. Again, you know, applying too much pressure, which a lot of people are not going to do. They're going to apply too little pressure, um, right. but it's, it's super safe. Um, people can do it like for five minutes, people can do it for a half hour, um, and they can work it into their schedule. We're all so busy. So I want to make this accessible for everyone. Um, and any little bit helps the animal. So it's going to be super beneficial again for five minutes, 30 minutes. Um, it really fits into the lifestyle, but yeah, you know, always talk to your veterinarian first, but this is something that is super safe and can be done at home. Awesome. So where can people find you with respect to the website, the course, and then also on uh, social media? So pawshaw.com, that's P-A-W-S-H-A.com is my website. On social media, on Instagram, I'm at dogguasha, that's D-O-G-G-U-A-S-H-A. And so those are my two main platforms um, and I'm offering the course, but you can also buy just the tool if you just want to see how it is, kind of dip your toe in the water. Um, And I have some basic tips to get started, but I do also have a lot of videos on my Instagram that you can kind of see what it looks like and, and how to treat certain ailments as well. Awesome. Well, that sounds great. Um, I hope everyone listening gets to get their hands on one of these paw shots because it's so accessible and so beneficial. And like you said, any amount of time, it's like, okay, I have three minutes today. That's totally fine. Or maybe it's a weekend, you have 20 minutes. And so it's exciting to hear that you've created something so budget friendly, so user friendly, so time friendly. Uh, And so I'm just excited to share this with the listeners. So thank you so much for being on today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning into the Canine Culture Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe to the Canine Culture Podcast on your favorite podcast platform and make sure you're following us on social media. If you have any recommendations, any topics that you'd like to hear, if you know of any guests that would be good for the show, or if you yourself want to be a guest, please reach out to us, send us an email at canineculturepodcast at gmail.com or send us a direct message on social media. Thank you for listening and please share this with any of your dog loving friends.